Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be updating your iPhone and iPad up touch to the latest iOS. So let's get started, go right into your settings. Under settings you will notice your first option where it says your name or maybe your device's name. Just go in there and make it back up using iCloud if you guys have no more space on your iCloud. Then just hook up your device to your computer and use iTunes or Finder in order to make that backup. Also if you're having any problems with the update, you can also update it throughout your computer. Anyways, let's just get started. Go down here below, assuming that you guys made a backup and go right into general. Under general, your second option says software update, and then we should see this loading. So our latest update is 14.6. It is almost one gig, so for some of you, this might take some time. For others, it's gonna take no time. Anyways, let's just tap on downloading install. After you put in your passcode, it's gonna start the downloading progress. So right now you ho should have at least 50% of your battery. If you don't, or even if you do, let's say you guys have 80% of your battery. I still recommend having hooked up some electricity just in case. After all, your iPhone or iPad or touch might not be brand new, so their battery life isn't the best. Would also like to note, if you only see the install option, it's okay. Depending on your settings, it might have downloaded the update already, and all you needed to do was actually install it. So it's okay if you just see install now. Now the main reason why we did that backup is just in case something goes wrong. So if your iPhone iPad of touch just turns off in the middle of installing the update, it is a problem. Then you might have to restore it and that's why we made that backup. However, if it turns off on you when you're downloading the update, it's no big deal. We can just re-download it. Right now it's gonna take about three minutes to download. Again, this does depend on your internet speed. It, with slower internet speeds, this could take a lot longer. Just after 10 minutes, that download should be done. So this just press uninstall now. Once it does that, it's just gonna verify the update. Then it's gonna turn off, we're gonna see an Apple logo and a loading bar. So at first we will see an Apple logo and a loading bar. It's gonna load up pretty slow. Then it's gonna restart again and we're gonna see another Apple logo and a loading bar. This time it's gonna load up a lot faster. By this time, you should be about another five to eight minutes into the update. And then after one to two minutes, we should see everything updated so we can swipe up. It might ask you for a passcode if you have one. And then let's just go into our settings and check out if everything went okay. So software update, and we should see our iPhone, iPad, or touch in the latest iOS. In this case, it's 14.6. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.